Mind your step. I would not want you to step on this random patch of grass. I jest, of course. The Telvanni force me to work, but I make sure it brings them no pleasure. I see you wear no shackles. Do you seek work? I know someone who needs help. In truth, you would be helping many Saxlil, myself included. During my latest escape attempt, I met an amber beauty with eyes like summer rain. Her luchial name is Sun in Shadow, but I call her my heart. She hatches a plan to set us free. Seek her out in Tel Naga. If I know my heart, she will be sunning herself in the light of some book. Always reading that one, always learning. If all goes to plan, she will read her books beside me in the boughs of a hist. Soon, I hope. Walk with Sithis, my friend, and mind the Telvanni. They spin lies like an elder at the yarn wheel. I ventured too far from the hist and did not heed the bird signs. Dark elf slavers spine hooked me near Thorn. I escaped four times, but never for long. Eventually, the Telvanni bought me. At a discount, I am told. I take pride in that, at least. Laws are slippery things. The Ebonheart Pact outlawed Argonian slavery, but House Telvanni refused to join the Pact. In truth, I cannot imagine how they would live without slaves. The Magisters are like overstuffed crocodiles. Dangerous, but lazy. I thank you for your offer. But I tire of breaking free only to be recaptured a day later. Sun in Shadow's plan will earn us a lasting freedom. If you help her, you help me. Mages, mostly. Members of the so-called Great House Telvanni. One of the four Great Houses of the Dark Elves. They love using that word, great. Great at ruining lives, perhaps. Yes. And Khajiit also. You see, for a Telvanni, life is nothing but a cheap struggle for mastery and control. Mastery of their dry-skinned magics, control of their mushroom towers, and dominion over people. People like us. Yes, can I help you, Surio? Bless his eyes. Yes, I'm Sun in Shadow. Ioki told you I have a plan to earn our freedom, right? It will require finesse and discretion. I trust that I can count on you for both. To earn my freedom, I need the help of Magister Therama. She's a recently elevated Telwani Magister. Not so set in her ways as the others, and probably more likely to remember her early struggles. I know she wants something from Zane Terraris. I need to find out what it is, then get it for her. I'm afraid not. I traded in some favors to get a better idea of what she's seeking, but I learned very little. Apparently her mouth, Erevin Anthem, has some correspondence that might give us a clue. I need that letter. Oh, yes. House Telvanni has its warts, but it's a true meritocracy. With enough guile and cunning, even a lowly slave can sit on the council. I've studied spellcraft since before I could lift a broom. All I need now is the sponsorship of a magister. The Rana's been haranguing the council, trying to get their help in claiming Zane Terraris from House Redrin. She wants something in that shrine. I aim to get it for her. Her mouth, Erevan Anthem, has a letter that contains the clues we need. Be cautious in the council house, Sarah. House Tilvani is not just some beast you can slay. In this place, subtlety will serve you better than any shield. We have to play the game. Truthfully, it doesn't. Not yet. Telvanni plots take time to develop. If I demand Ioki's freedom too early, I show my hand. Suddenly, he's a valuable piece in the game. 
moved and sacrificed as the Magisters see fit. Do I sense a rebuke? It's not ideal, I know. Look, I treasure Ioki. He's placed his trust in me. I hope you'll do the same. Ah, it was during one of his many escape attempts. I was cleaning Master Otheri's tableware when Ioki burst through the kitchen door, dragging his chains behind him. He threw open the window and started to climb through it. Then he saw me. He hesitated, even smiled. You don't see Mars slaves smile much. Certainly not when they're being chased by Nyx hounds. They dragged him off and threw him in the dry box. He told me he'd spend a year in there if it meant seeing me again. There's an old alchemist proverb. No reaction is ever so forceful as the mixing of opposing components. A mouthful, I know, but it fits. Ioki and I occupy different poles on the same spear. He keeps me grounded. I keep him safe. And who might you be? Master Erevan is away on business. Has been for some time, in fact. I know a prowler when I see one. What do you want? No one just wanders into a council mouth's office looking around. I should report you. What are you really after? And do be honest, we've already wasted enough time here. Ah, the one about Zane Tiraris, is it? Well, I could call the guard and be about my day, but I am a Telvani after all. We don't turn away an opportunity when it presents itself. Perhaps you could help me with a problem I've run into. It's a matter of literature, or lack thereof. I wrote a poem, you see, a cloying, drunken mess of a poem. The post delivered it to my darling Ether and Dora just this morning. If you get it away from her, the letter is yours. She spends most of her time in the study, here, in the council hall. She's very diligent, always leaning over one book or another. And the way she licks her thumb when she turns the pages... Sorry, you'll find her in the study, yes. The poem's terrible! Plus, if word got to my parents that I'd been courting a wood elf, I'd be written out of the will, repeatedly, with red ink. Then there's also the possibility of blackmail. Why do you think Ethan Dora keeps it on her? She knows that if Master Erevan gets wind of this, he might dismiss me from his service. Clever minx. Working for a council mouth is a fine occupation, Fla. I can't risk losing it. She's such a pretty, dainty thing. Not at all like those other scrawny Acon elves. Add a half bottle of shame to a lusty heart and you wind up with some very poor decisions. Guess I need a tighter purse. I hope this is good news. Well, did you get my poem? Quick, give it here! Phew, what a relief. All right, Fla, I'm going to burn this embarrassment. I sure hope I didn't leave Master Erevan's correspondence box unlocked. That would be careless in the extreme. Farewell. Good riddance to bad writing.
There you are. I was afraid you'd been compromised. Were you successful? Did Anthem have anything worth reading? May I? Ah, a saint's relic. Saint Films. Never heard of him. Hmm. Says here the Redoran wants it too. To squirrel away in some musty old chapel, no doubt. We need to make sure Therana gets it before they do. Looks like the shrine is locked, protected by some puzzle ward. Luckily, the letter provides some hints on how to break in. Solve the puzzle, grab the relic, then make haste to tell Barana. Therana should be there. Offer her the relic on my behalf. Somewhere between certain and apprehensive. The Telvanni respect our clever schemes and love to barter. This little intrigue will prove my worth, I know it. Then again, she could just try to take the relic by force. Run? Telvanni magisters wield magics that put Giuliano's to shame. Of course, you're quite the hero in your own right. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. The door is open! Open at last! Oh, excellent. Another clumsy adventurer bumbles into my home. I really must put a hex on that lift. Have you come to rob me? That would go very poorly for you. Sun in shadow. Oh yes, I know the lizard. An enterprising young mage, if memory serves. Don't look so surprised. Her magical abilities are the worst kept secret in Sadrath Mora. 
What does she want? I hope you bring more than boring salutations. Do you now? Well, she's a clever one, isn't she? Even convinced you to do the work for her. Impressive. So, what does our scaled friend want in exchange for this relic? No, no, no. Give me a moment. I'm keen to guess. She wants her freedom, right? Oh, good. I was afraid she'd do something boring with her freedom, like run off into the marsh to worship trees or some such. Sun in Shadow shall have my endorsement. I'll give you a writ. Deliver it to my mouth, Erevan. He'll know what to do. There, that should be sufficient. Now, take that writ and be off. I have a relic to study. Do you need something? I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh? Let me see that. Submit to Council. Argonian slave freed. Services to House Telvani. Well, well. I've always known Sun in Shadow to be ambitious, but this is quite the master stroke. I shall take this to the Council and send for her. Feel free to wait in the Council chamber. We will rule on this matter soon. One other thing. Some of my personal correspondence went missing recently. If that ever happens again, the Morag Tong will hear of it. I trust we understand each other. I'll give this to the Council. In this moment since I was a hatchling. I knew I'd be free eventually, but now that the moment's here, I just hope I don't embarrass myself. They'll deliberate, needle each other a bit, then set me free. I only hope that they'll take me on as a hireling as well. I'll even get my own quarters. Can you imagine that? Not only my own room, a whole house to myself. My heart is racing. Yes, of course. I mean, eventually. We can talk about that later. Just let me bask in this moment, all right? Truly, I couldn't have done this without you and Ioki. A plan is only as useful as the people who carry it out. You have my deepest thanks, Sarah. Now, I suppose it's time. Well, well. What brings a slave to our audience chamber? I bring tidings from my august patron, Magister Therana. She would have your masters know that this slave, Sun in Shadow, has earned her favor. What? Magister Therana would lend her good name to this... thing? Preposterous. Rilasa, don't be as tiresome as your master. Uh, can we move this along, please? Very well. Magister Therana, by right of rank, demands that the slave girl, Sun in Shadow, be freed from her bonds and raised up to a hireling of the great house Telvani. She belongs to Magister Otheri, does she not? Indeed. My most beneficent patron, Magister Otheri, acquiesces to Magister Therana's demands. He is confident that Therana will remember this kindness in the future. Sun in Shadow, you are hereby freed and lifted up to the rank of hireling. My most majestic patron, Magister Gothrin, warns you all. Lift up one of these beasts and a thousand more will follow. This is folly. If there's nothing else, I have urgent business in Telmora. Mora. 
You've done well, girl. Do come by in a day or so. I may have some work for you. <laughs>